Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of new news, and also at the moment, actually tomorrow, I am currently going to be away again. I know I was in San Diego, but I'm going to bring along my recording equipment, just in case there's any breaking news or anything like that, but I will be scheduling some videos for the next few days. So we've got, you know, a lot of news from Comic Con. I've watched all the interviews online and have gathered together everything that I haven't talked about basically and that's what we're going to be talking about this week okay so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year okay so we're going to talk about one thing that was revealed at the panel right at the end of the panel so as many of you guys know I was at Comic Con and I was there during all the DCTV panels and there was a lot of revelations and lots of WTF moments, but they hid this piece of news right till the end and it was sort of as the applause was going on, so it was kind of crazy. It was as they actually were starting the fan questions, so they kind of slipped that in and I think it slipped a lot of people's minds because I haven't seen it being reported much online. But anyway, so Kid Flash has been confirmed to return by Eric Wallace, the new showrunner, and I have to say, I'm really impressed by Eric. I'm really looking forward to it. I've been watching a lot of his interviews and obviously I saw him at the panel. I had to skip the press room for the, you know, where you do the round table interviews. I did it for Supergirl. I got an invitation to do it for The Flash, but I couldn't do it because the panels are at the exact same time, which sucks, but you know, it sort of just went like that and hopefully I can do it next year. But yeah, very impressed by him and the way he's sort of talking about everything that's gonna happen. So he confirmed, yes, Keenan Lonsdale is going to be coming back for a couple of episodes, that's what he said, so that means probably two. And so he's confirmed to return in some way or another, and what he sees about the episode, or the few episodes that he's in, is him and Barry will have to fight one of the greatest Flash villains ever. And so that's all he said, he didn't reveal like who it was or what was going to be happening. And so with that, with him saying, you know, one of the greatest Flash villains ever, I'm sort of like going back in my head, looking through, you know, the villains we haven't done. Like, we've done a lot of Flash villains, like the biggest ones, like Captain Cold, Eobard Thorn, Zoom, Grodd, you know, Weather Wizard, Mirror Master. You know, the list goes on. We've done basically most of the villains. And so I'm sort of going through the ideas in my head. And the one that sort of sticks to mind is definitely Cobalt Blue. He's sort of like the biggest one, I would say, that they haven't done. And then recently, obviously, we have. Red Death, who has been mentioned, so maybe it could be Red Death. However, I think in the back half of the season, and I'm going to talk about this in another video this week, I think that Red Death may be the villain because what he teased at the panel was is going to be like two graphic novels. So the first graphic novel is the first part of the season. We have Bloodwork as the villain. Again, this is all going to be in a video in the next few days talking about the villain and the structure of the season. And then we got Crisis. Then after Crisis, we have the aftermath of Crisis. And that is graphic novel number two. That's a completely new villain. So I'm not sure who's going to be for, you know, this specific episode. So it could be, you know, maybe a Nerta or like a returning villain from The Flash. But for now, let me know your theories in the comments down below. But I just think it's so exciting that finally Kid Flash is coming back. I think he was in one episode last season. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's been a long time since we've seen him. He obviously left Legends. I think... It was that Keenan wanted a break from, you know, filming and everything like that. So, I'm really glad that he's back and it's very exciting to see that. I do like Wally a lot, especially in Season 3. I thought Wally was really good in Season 3. And then, I just, you know, he got sidelined a bit in the later season. So, excited to see him return. And it was a great surprise at the panel to, you know, be told this information in person. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is we got this set video just a few days ago on the 23rd. So this was the day after Comic Con, so this was the Sunday and you know time differences, I'm not sure exactly when it was, but they flew back to Vancouver. It's only about a three hour flight from San Diego or LA, so not too bad, right? So they fly back and they start shooting pretty much straight away. I reckon they get some sleep and then they're all back on set. All I saw, I didn't see Grant actually in any of the photos or videos, but I saw Caitlin, I saw Carlos, and I saw Ralph, and I believe Candace was there as well. So they were all there. But the interesting thing, and you could easily glance past it because we're so used to it, is Cisco 
is wearing the vibe suit. He's wearing it again, and, you know, he's along with Killer Frost, so Caitlyn is all up in her Killer Frost persona by this point. So it seems like he is taking part in some sort of fight because, you know, Caitlyn's all Killer Frost, but he has his suit on. But what they were talking about at the panel, but also, you know, what they teased from last season, they've been teasing ever since, is Cisco's not going to get his powers back, he's going to be normal. So why the hell would he be in his vibe suit if it's just him as his normal self? Because there's no real reason to do that. You know, Iris doesn't have like a superhero suit, you know, when she doesn't have powers. When she goes out in the field, she just wears a normal thing, right? So does Harrison Wells. So why would he do that if he didn't have powers? Is it an alternate version? Is it, you know, because of the timeline changes, he gets his powers back? I doubt it's any of those reasons, but... There is a high possibility he will be getting his powers back because there is literally no logical reason to think that he would just, you know, be out in the field with his, you know, his costume and everything if he wasn't going to be using it in some way, hiding his identity. So is it a flashback? I don't think it can be a flashback because remember, in this scene, whatever they're shooting, right? You've got Killer Frost in her costume. She doesn't get her costume until Cisco's powers are taken away. So is it something along the lines of Mano Vo, the monitor? We know he shows up at the end of episode one. We know they're filming episode two when they shot this the other day. They're now on to episode three. But has he done something to make sure that Vibe becomes Vibe again? So he gets his powers and everything like that in order to prepare for crisis. So is it the monitor? I think that is a possible option. And what else has been said about Cisco is that he's supposedly going to be taking more of a season one role where he didn't have his vibe powers. You know, he, he sort of got teasers for his powers throughout the season. Then season two, he fully got his powers for the first time and he was able to use them. So if it's more like season one and say, let's presume he's wearing the costume, but he's not got his powers back. What Carlos said at Comic-Con was he's going to be doing sort of using his brains more. He's going to be in more of a normal role. I guess what Iris was, you know, back in season four, then they changed it. So in season five, she just, you know, was a team member rather than a leader. And it's back to Barry. So it seems like he's going to be the guy, sort of the brains behind the computer again. So more like season one. But what they've said about this season is the tone's going to be obviously similar to season 5, which is very similar to season 1, but it's going to be a bit more darker. It's going to be a bit more like season 2. What Eric has actually teased is it's going to be a bit more chilling. It's going to be a bit more thrilling. But also it's going to have those laughs, those moments that are specifically to do with the Flash TV show. So don't worry about that. But Cisco is supposed to be in more of a season 1 role before he got his powers. So... Does this mean that, you know, him wearing a suit, you know, is this like a different version of him or is he just wearing the suit for the sake of wearing the suit and he's just doing it randomly? I'm not sure. So you guys will have to theorize and we'll talk about it some more, you know, over the coming weeks when we get some more revelations. And so the additional last thing that I wanted to talk about was that, you know, Tom Kavanagh, he's played many characters over the years on The Flash and I've talked about a new role that they announced for him that he's going to be playing Pariah this season. So that is a massive thing from Crisis. You know, it's completely different from any of his characters before. So I'm curious to see what they do with that. They've also teased a swashbuckling version of Wells. We don't know specifically what version, but he seems to be a bit more adventurous. That's what they're teasing right now. You know, they haven't really revealed that much information. But the big thing is, leading into Crisis, like right now, Reverse Flash is gone in the wind. They've said that. He's gone with the wind, as the film says. But he's going to return in Crisis. It's been confirmed. Tom Kavanagh's going to return. As far as we know, it's not going to be Matt Letcher. It's just going to be Tom the whole time. And I cannot be more excited to hear that confirmation come out of Comic-Con. And just seeing he's playing three characters this year. That's nuts. So I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously going to be playing three characters probably in Crisis, which is even more crazy. So he's going to be here, there, and everywhere. But yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss anything later this year. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.